Hi, I'm Samantha from Kitchener, Canada, and my question is, why did the Lord choose that specific vision to give to Peter to teach him that the Lord is no respecter of persons? I love Samantha's question. I love that she's from Canada. I served my mission there, so I feel like I'm at home. So uh, I love that. But one of the big things that's here is the dietary law in Leviticus chapter 11 was very strict. It was very strict about what you could and could not eat. Uh, one of the things I like to do with my students is we actually play clean or unclean sometimes. <laughs> and I put a picture of something up and go, okay, go to Leviticus 11. Is it clean or unclean? That's kind of the society they lived in is, is it clean? Is it not? And so to see these animals that Peter had grown up from a small child, mm -hmm. okay, Peter, can you have that? No. So some of them, perhaps it doesn't describe what the animals are, but one of them could have been a pig. And so the Lord may have said, Peter, look, here's this pig, go ahead and slaughter it and eat it. And Peter's like, my whole life, I'm not, I haven't <laughs> eaten a pig. Um, and so it was so impactful because again, Peter's hungry. Mm -hmm. And so he's thinking about food, uh, but he's still saying, wait, this is what God's commanded me to do. And even though I'm hungry, I'm not that hungry. Right. Okay. I'm still going to follow that. And so he's very familiar with these customs and, and why they would do it. A second reason that I think the Lord would teach this way is that was such a part of daily life. And for us, that's foreign. Mm -hmm. But for Peter, that was such a a thing you thought about every day when you went to the market, can I or can I not eat this, that it would have been very impactful to him. Mm -hmm.